Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will learn how to build a star schema using the data modeling process in Power BI. Power BI data modeling is crucial for effectively analyzing and visualizing complex data sets. When data resides in multiple tables or sources, it can create challenges such as inconsistent relationships, redundant data, and slower query performance. Data modeling resolves this by uniting disparate datasets into coherent structure, enabling efficient data retrieval and streamlined analysis. A well-designed model often employs the star schema, which is a relational database structure that organizes data into a central fact table surrounded by dimension tables. The fact table contains numerical metrics like sales or profits, while dimension tables hold descriptive attributes like product categories or customer names. The star schema simplifies querying and enhances performance by minimizing redundancy and maintaining clear relationships between all the datasets. This structure is particularly advantageous for reporting and business intelligence, as it ensures faster processing and more intuitive navigation for users. By implementing a robust data model, Power BI users can overcome fragmented data and unlock actionable insights with ease. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and data analytics skills to land in your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various data science and data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like Advanced Excel, Python, Machine Learning, Data Visualization, Generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier data and product companies, and also academicans from top universities. After completing these courses, Thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or data analytics role as a fresh up or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science or data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Now, we will understand what exactly is a star schema in Power BI. So in other terms, people also prefer to call this as a snowflake schema in Power BI because the shape of the schema represents a star shape or a snowflake shape. So basically, there will be one fact table which stores the major part of the data set and there will be some sub tables or the subordinate tables which uh, store the relevant data to that particular fact table. So the fact table maintains many to one relationship with these dimension tables, right? So basically it will be interconnected with each and every table in the particular schema and you can extract information in the way you like. Um, this might be a little confusing theoretically, but let me navigate you through this session through a practical demonstration. Let's actually create a data set using generative AI and moving ahead, we will extract or we will pull the same data onto the Power BI platform. And then let's look at the star schema practically. Now, let's go to the chat GPD or any of the generative AI platforms to create the data set that we are looking at. So this will be my prompt for creating a star schema. So we will be trying to generate five different data tables with 2000 rows each. So we will be creating one fact table, which is the sales data. Followed by that, we have four dimension tables, which are customer data, product data, orders data, and shipping data. So this is the prompt that we will be using today. Now, let's select the entire prompt, copy that, and get back to ChatGPT. And here, you'll just paste that prompt and then hit the go. I've already created one such data table. It would take a little time to generate the data set. While a chat GPD is working on creating it, let's look at the data that I already have in my 
inventory. This is the data that we have in inventory. So as for the inventory, the sales data, which happens to be our fact table, has order ID, price, discount, cost to company. Let me expand this. Profit and rate, right? And then the fact table is then connected to the dimension tables, which is about the customer information, customer data, customer name, state, city, etc. And the product details to which category or which product is being bought by the customer. And then we have the orders data and shipping data, right? So shipping data includes the type of shipment mode chosen by the customer and also the order date and uh, the ship date. Let's save this. Now let's have a look at uh, the generative AI prompt that we just wrote. So there you go. So ChatGPT has successfully created us the data set. And here the link is, you can just click on this link and you'll get the downloaded data set, which looks something similar to this one, right? Now, how exactly star schema or snowflake schema works? Now, let's say I have this order details here, the sales data here. I have order 00, 01, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's say I wanted to track this particular order with ORD 0005. So I want to find out the customer who bought that. Now I can get connected with customer data having the order key, uh, order number as the key in between, which is common in between both the tables. And based on that, I can extract the customer details, the customer name, the customer city, the customer state, uh, country, and the region. And now let's say I wanted also to extract the product details of what the customer 005 has been buying or on the order number 005 is at, right? Now, if I trace down the order details further, I can identify the product ID, product name, and product category along with the subcategory of the product name, which happens to be tables, right? And now if I drill down a little more bit, then I have uh, these many number of traffic, leads, and orders received to buy 13 quantities of that particular item called a table. And they preferred, you know, kind of same day delivery. So this is how the star schema works. All tables are interlinked to each other. Now, let's quickly switch to the Power BI platform and try to extract or pull the same data set onto the Power BI platform. And then let's wait for Power BI to generate us a schema. There you go. Now we are on the Power BI platform. And now the data that we are working with is in the form of Excel. So let's prefer the Excel workbook as our source. Now this is the data, the demo data that we just created. You can just open it and the data will be pulled for you onto the platform. It might take a little while. Let's wait. So here we have the data ready and we have five tables according to the discussion. One fact table and remaining else are the uh, dimension table. So the customer data, orders data, product data, shipping data are the dimension tables and the fact table is sales data. You know, uh, and then you can just load or transform. As far as I'm concerned, my data is clean and I don't have to proceed with the transformation. But just in case, if you want to perform some data cleaning and you can go ahead with transformation of the data. And if you have to look at an exclusive tutorial on data transformation using Power Query, then we have linked it in the description box below and you can have a clean reference to it. So far, so good. I'll continue with loading the data since I'm confident with my data set. Just load it and it might take a couple of moments. The data is slowly loading. Let's give it some time. There you go. The data has been successfully loaded, and here you have the view of your data set. So, here we have leads, order ID, quantity, etc., product details, and the sales details, all of them that you needed. And if you proceed with this particular table view, you can see the tabular version of the data set and here lies the most important part of today's discussion the model view and if you go here the power bi platform has already created the relationships between your data sets and if you just rearrange a couple of those schemas you can literally make a star pattern out of it and also if you look at this particular position here you can see that we can establish some new relationships or you can try to edit some existing relationships with the manage relationships option now you just have to drag and drop a few of these tables over here so that you can exactly maintain a star type of pattern there you go 
So that's how you can generally create a star type uh, schema or also known as the snowflake type of schema in Power BI. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to create a star schema in Power BI or also known as the snowflake type of schema in Power BI. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we have been using in this session, like data set, the prompt that we use to create the data set, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.